Hi you guys, I'm back and today I am doing a video on this look, loving these lips. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got it, oh nay nay, then make sure you stay tuned. Okay, so um, we're gonna, I started off by priming my eyes with my MAC Studio Fix Concealer in the shade NW45 and I am using a Zoeva or maybe Zoeva brush to apply the product to my lid and I'm just spreading that all over and this is going to serve as a neutral base for me and I am taking just a regular old powder and setting that concealer so that it doesn't crease I'm taking my Sonia Kashuk blending brush dipping it in Max Brown script and I'm going to use that as my transitional color like I do pretty much every single video and I'm just applying that all over the crease and I like as usual I'm trying to stay at the lower end of my crease so that I don't take away from my brow bone highlight and I'm just going to apply that until I get it just right doing a little back and forth sweeping motions and right now I just dust it off my brush onto like a napkin and I am make, just to make sure to get the extra product off and so I am just blending the top part of the transition color and the concealer from my brow bone highlight so that there's no harsh lines and that brow bone highlight is just concealer from where I did my brows and now I am taking my MAC 239 brush, I am dipping it in MAC eyeshadow in the shade Espresso, and I'm just using the tip of the brush and I'm popping it in the crease using flat little circular back and forth motions. And I am doing this to add depth to the crease area. And I'm really starting to realize that I need to stop doing one eye at a time because I can never get them completely symmetrical. So, yeah. So now I'm going into Max Embark. That is an eyeshadow. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with Espresso. This is just to deepen that crease area and make it a little bit darker. And this time I'm going a little closer into the, um, like, I'm going pretty much a little closer towards the middle of the crease. With uh, Espresso, I stay more on the outer part of the crease, but now I'm taking Embark from the outer to more so to the middle part of the crease. And now I am taking a Sonia Kashuk shader brush. I am not sure what number that is, but I am putting it in Max Amber Lights, and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. And of course you guys I will have a list of the products used in this video down below in the description box as usual because a lot of times when I am doing the audio I don't quite remember like the numbers of certain brushes like I can remember the name of my products but I can never remember the number of the brushes so it'll be down below so if you're curious just go down below this video and click the little down arrow and boop all the information will be right there before your eyes. And so I cleaned off my MAC 239 or 236, whichever one it is, and I'm just going back into my crease and just blending it all out, making sure that there's no harsh lines. And so I am taking that same MAC brush, cleaned it off, and I dipped it into Max Brown script, and I am going to go above the uh, crease area right between the crease color and the brow bone highlight and I'm just going to pop a little bit more of my transition color which is the brown script up and through there because it kind of disappeared 
I think the espresso and the embark kind of covered it up. So I'm going to go back in and put it up there so that there will be a nice transition. And I am just taking a clean Sonia Cash blending brush and I'm just going to blend that out. And when I say clean, I don't mean like just straight up clean after a shampoo. I mean, after I use it, I take like a paper towel or a piece of tissue and brush off, knock off the um, excess product so that I'm not adding more product when I'm just wanting to like blend. And it's not exactly the same. This is why I need to just do both eyes at the same time instead of doing one before recording and then coming and doing the other. I just need to do them at the same time. So I'm taking that brush, that same MAC brush back into Embark and I'm gonna go and try and even it out and pull it from the outer corner to the mid area of my crease so it looks the same as the other eye. And I'm just blending out again, just blending that color. Now once you get everything looking even, then you're done with the eyes, that's it. And then I added my liner and my lashes off camera. And I primed my face with Milk and Magnesia. <laughs> and next I am going to apply my foundation. And I'm going to use Maybelline's Fit Me in the shade 355. This is the matte and poreless foundation. I decided to try it one more time. And I am using my Sonia Kashuk Face Brush in Max Fix Plus Spray to dampen my brush so that all my foundation won't get absorbed in the brush. So yeah, I'm going to apply that to my face using my fingers. I'm just going to put a couple dots around my face and then I'm going to take the brush and just buff everything in and spread everything out and you know how it goes. And for those of you who may be watching that don't know why I, or, or is wondering why in the world I put Milk Magnesia on my face, Milk Magnesia can be used as a primer uh, to keep your face pretty matte. Like if you have really oily skin, it works pretty good, but it's not like a primer solution. Like it's not something that you want to use on a day-to-day -day basis because it can dry your face out pretty bad. So I would say if you are someone who has really oily skin and you wear foundation every day, you should probably uh, invest in a really good primer. I've heard good things about the Becca primer, so you might want to invest in a, an actual primer because using Milk and Magnesia probably won't be good for your face if you're doing it on a regular basis. It'll probably dry your skin out really, really bad. But because I don't wear it, on a regular basis I choose that I'd rather do that than go out and spend ridiculous amounts of money on some Becca face primer but to each his own and yes I do see where I did not color correct that little dark spot on my forehead it is pretty hard for me to see it when I am doing my makeup but when I'm looking back like editing and looking back at the videos I can see it but when I'm sitting in front of the mirror I have a hard time identifying where that little dark spot is on my forehead so yeah that's that on that And next I am going to add my highlight. I am using the LA Girl, the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And the first shade I began to use was Toffee and I saw that it was kind of dark. So yeah, I just kind of added it to the parts of my face that's going to be closer to my contour. And then I went back in with the same brand concealer in the shade Fawn. And I'm going to take that closer. That's gonna it's, it's lighter, so I took it closer up under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose in the middle part of my forehead. And 
everywhere else that I want it to be highlighted. Hoping that maybe it'll give, like the darker concealer will give a nice transition from the highlight to the contour. If that makes any sense to you guys. So. And oh yeah, oh yeah, you guys make sure if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and don't forget to go and click that thumbs up button if you guys are enjoying the videos or if you have enjoyed any of my videos. I will, let's see if we can get this video 50 likes. And for those of you who don't know, likes are when people click the thumbs up button. So. If you click the thumbs up button then that means you like this video so I'm trying to see if I can get this video to at least 50 so next I am taking my elf flawless concealer brush for you guys that have watched some of my videos you know that I always use this brush I love this brush this brush for blending out my concealer and I'm just going in and blending it out so that I won't look so cakey and it'll still look a little patchy but I'll be going back again a little later blending again and next I'm going to add my contour this is the same contour that I use all the time this is my black radiance pressed powder in the shade rich mahogany And I did switch brushes. I switched from my e.l.f. small stippling brush to my Zoeva, I think this is a face shaper brush, I think. Yeah, I'll have it listed down below. Okay, okay. And next, Mama's going to set her highlight using Ben Nye powders in the shade Banana and Topaz. And I'm just going to go and blend and knock off extra product. And next, I'm just going back in, adding a little bit more contour to try and help even everything out. And I got those flyaways in the back again. And I am taking a real technique, a real technique cosmetic sponge. I damped it. I I put a little. I got a little too damp. But I'm going in and trying to blend everything out. But I kind of jacked up my forehead because it was too damp. I didn't give it a little time to absorb the water or the spray, the Fix Plus. So, so that was my mistake. Don't make the same mistake I did. And I'm just going back in and trying to. I think I was trying to add a little bit more contour I don't know what I was trying to do there I gotta be honest so now I'm adding my blush 
And it's just like a soft pink blush that I am applying with the e.l.f. blush brush. And next I am going to add my highlight. This is e.l.f. It is an e.l.f. blush in the shade Gotta Glow. I am adding it above my blush and I added it to my cupid's bow and down like the tip of my nose or like the bridge of my nose to the tip. So next I'm going to add an MSF to my face in the shade dark. This is a mineralized skin finish and it's just going to give me a sheen, a little bit of a glow so that I won't be so dry and matte. Next, I'm going to line and fill in my lips with NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Prune. This is a really dark, pretty purple. And because I missed out on Gunner, which was a lipstick that was released back in December with the collection with MAC and Nasty Gal, I decided to see if I could recreate. So I'm not so sure how close it, the lip combination is going to be to the lipstick Gunner. But I'm hoping I'm going to get it pretty close because it was such a gorgeous purple and I missed it. I don't know how I missed that collection. I think I caught it, caught on about it about like a couple days later up to a week. And of course, Gunner was already gone. It was such a gorgeous purple. So I'm going to try and do what I can do. So next I'm going to add Matte Royal to my lips and this is a MAC lipstick that just released, Woo, pretty blue, it just released with the Matte Lip Collection a little while back, like a couple days ago. It released in stores I think but I got mine online. And so next I'm just going to take some concealer and clean up the edges of my lips. And there you have it. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget there will be a list of the products down below. Please take some time to go watch any of the videos on my channel that you may have missed. Thank you guys so much. Until the next time, you guys, be beautiful.